In this video, we're gonna be talking about the blind skater who ollied a stair set. It's a double set, by the way. So like I told you guys in the last video, Mountain Dew flew me out to a few of their Unlock the Spots events and the Dew Tour as well. And this dude that I'm about to talk about was at every event as well. And the Dew Tour is where he ollied this stair set and he's blind. The skater that I'm talking about is Anthony Ferrero. If you guys wanna follow him on all social media, it's right here, he posts a lot of good content. A lot of content. Like I told you guys in the last video, post a lot of content. This is tip number two, this goes with tip number two. Post a lot. And he is blind and he's still doing it more than most of you guys. So I have a question for you guys real quick. Do you think you could skate if you couldn't see? I want you guys to be honest with that and comment below. That being said, I've actually tried to skate without seeing. So what I did was I did a blind game of skate. So I had to tie the blindfolds around my head. I closed my eyes to make sure I couldn't see through the cracks or anything like that. And we did a game of skate. It was scary. I'm going to be honest with you. All you could do is just, you know, use your other senses. And, you know, I was just hearing, trying to feel where I'm at and just trusting myself because I knew how to do the trick. But the difference is, I was able to learn a trick when I was already able to see. You know what I mean? With Anthony, he's been like that the whole time. He was not able to see the whole time since he started skateboarding. So the whole time I'm watching Anthony do this stair set, right? The attempts that he's doing, which I'm going to show. I'm going to show all the attempts and we're going to really run through that because I got footage of it. The whole time I'm watching him, I'm just imagining the time that I was doing flat ground tricks with the blindfolds on. And I'm like, yo, I cannot imagine myself attempting a stair set with the blindfold on. So he was just going straight for it, no hesitation at all and like I told you he started skateboarding like this you know he was blind he started skating like that so he doesn't really understand I mean I was having a conversation with him he doesn't know where to put his feet anything like that he's just going and I was giving him some advice he actually said he was like yo you one of the best coaches or whatever so we're gonna rewind a little bit right now so like I told you guys in the last video Mountain Dew took me to all the unlock the spots uh, events that they were having and one of the events that they had was out here in LA so there was a three star at this event the main thing was a four guy four that everybody was skating um, but there was a three there and this is my first time really seeing him skate skate like i saw him at that events like hitting a ledge or whatever but this was a stair set at this event but it was only a three stair okay so i'm seeing him attempt that and i'm like wow okay cool but you know the, the three stair is like you know it's like all right for sure for sure i wonder if he could do something bigger at the dude tour event in iowa he did what i thought he wasn't gonna be able to do so like i told you guys earlier we were traveling together this whole month of july we were going to all the unlock the spots events so i had some time to really talk to him and i asked him, I'm like, what is the process of you doing tricks? You know what I mean? It must be difficult. He said it takes him a whole team. I'm like, what does that mean? He needs somebody at the bottom. Usually. I mean, he doesn't. I've seen him skate by himself without all that. But usually he said he has somebody at the bottom and would yell so he can hear that. He has his stick so he can feel where the obstacles are at and when he should pop. Besides all that, besides the people that he automatically has with him, what I liked about and what I love about the skate community is the fact the whole skate park becomes helpful. You know, when we skate or whatever and we see somebody attempting a trick, we're automatically, you know, like, yo, get that, do that. But when it comes down to Anthony, we're seeing him really go for it. And we're like yo we want to help him out and i love the fact that every skater was thinking like that so when his board would fly out people would grab his board real quick make sure he'll get that uh when somebody was in a way or if anything like that like say somebody skating the same obstacle as him a lot of people were making sure they were staying out his way or people was making sure that oh yo go you know what i mean they was just telling him oh you could go right now and i love to see how people were doing that so right now i'm about to show you guys a montage of him just going for it just battling it out for this double set again he is blind and this is crazy i don't know if you guys have answered the question earlier do you think you can skate blind comment below after you watch this montage. You got it, bro. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it right here. Amazing. I never see him get mad too. That's one of the greatest things about it. He's having fun the whole time and really dedicated and he does not stop until he gets the trick. I would tell him, I'm like, man, nobody else around me has an excuse. Seeing you do this, nobody got an excuse. Yo, get up, get your skateboard. If you want to learn a new trick, if you want to get some videos done, whatever it is, go and do that. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Also, too, he told me he wanted to challenge me to try to do a stair set blindfolded. So let me give him a call right now and see how many stairs I got to do. 